like something. I am not going to buy no blame pretty behind the counter. <laughs> I want something going to light that place up uh, that I can put, huh? So that I, you mean to tell me that I can't get my life together <clears throat> and I'm down and out and I got to figure out what, how the candle looks. Hmm. I just want to come out this dog into the light. So they, you know, you go in that church over there. You know about them, don't you? Oh, you ain't heard about that gossip, oh, Jesus. Now, even if I find out, I'm not, my God dwells in big gossip. I, I'm not running from the storm. I'm running to the storm because I want the glorious light of Jesus Christ to shine. Ah, what the word is, what the message is, can it be confirmed that y'all don't want to talk to me? Do Jesus Christ come within the flesh? Now, it helps somebody because I'm not looking at the outside of the seed. If that seed, they got, see, see, I'm going to show you something. The devil has, has gotten people nowadays. See, I know what they like, what they see, and they don't want to deal with nothing. They don't want to deal with no shaping and mold. They want everything to be it. They don't want to hear no negativity because yeah. negativity hurts the flesh. Yeah. And the flesh got to do something they don't want it. Amen. Uh, what are you talking about, preacher? If somebody in here right now, now this is generation, they go to the grocery store, I want the seedless grapes because I don't want to pick the seeds out. It's going to cause me to have to do something, and I don't want to put no work with my faith. I just want to eat. I want to see this melon because I'm not trying to grow another melon. I don't care whether the preacher testifies that the seed is within him. I don't care whether he testifies that Jesus Christ comes within the flesh. I just want the place to look good. I want to feel good. I want the music playing. I know how I am. I know how to satisfy the flesh. I got to feel good. I want that feel good mentality. See, because I know what feel good do. Feel good works right there. Feel good work if you don't even know what they preached about. Feel good working when they go to uh-huh, and I like that uh-huh. I used to listen to music that I didn't even know the word. that certain part of the da 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 I love that stuff. It's what the name but I don't know where it goes. da 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 I just get out love that. Hello, somebody. So I already know how the world Thing system work, amen. Uh, so, so, you, yeah, I want to go. I want to go in there with that preacher, be all sporty, yoda and stuff. I don't, I don't get what he testified to. He be coming, maybe using a sophisticated word. He been to school, I tell you. Oh, gee, he can read good too. Oh, that amazing work I had to look up for twenty years. I don't even know what the man be talking about. I said, Mom, I done made it now. I'm sitting with the big shots. Harbor University. Oh, my money jump out my pocket. <laughs> Hello, somebody. I'm just saying. Ain't no, I mean, ain't no seed in the grave. I ain't even got the rest of it. He ain't gonna tell me about my butt. He gonna tell me I'm gonna get on. Even if they don't tell me nothing about seed, he ministered to me. He's not ministering. Jesus, Jesus the one with that old man talking about, will a man be whole? He's trying to minister to the spirit, to the soul, and then he's coming at my flesh. He want me to be whole. He's talking about, will you be made whole? No, I don't want to be made whole. I just want to feel good for a minute. I just want to be on my way up. I just want to be have a lot of money. I don't care where I end up. If I end up in hell, I just end up there. I just want to feel good while I'm on the earth. I just want to walk. The devil is alive. The devil is alive. I want to help somebody. God said, let there be light. Do you understand that, that God created the heaven and earth that the first word that God spoke was let there be light? Do you understand that the Bible said in the beginning was the word? The word was light. Jesus is that light. Hello, somebody. Amen. Jesus is the express image of God. God was in a dark place in thick darkness, 
and he, he produced, he, he got pregnant with light. He impregnated God with light. You know somebody? And he commanded light to come up out of God. God, the light is God's own child. Don't well, nobody tell you Jesus ain't none of God's child. Jesus is not only God's child, Jesus is God. He is the express image of God. He said, let there be, and it was. Hello, somebody. He said, let there be light. Hello, somebody. That's the first word. He said, in the beginning. Go back to the beginning. What did he, what did the first word come out of God's mouth? Let there be light. Do you know what let that be like me? The word let mean to allow. Hello, somebody. Amen. To allow life, actual reality, existence, life. Huh? He spoke this life into existence. So if he spoke the life into existence, now, I don't know how many of y'all, y'all might not know this, yeah. I don't want you to be up when I said this, because I don't want, you know, I know that we didn't tear growing together. And I understand that we didn't tear, because he said, Adam brought forth children after his own image. But then the set began to call on the name of the Lord. And whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And then the Bible says that they are Noah, that was uh, sons of God, that man married daughters of men. In other words, the daughters of Adam and children were married to the children that call on the name of the Lord. That held somebody, huh? And during that time, giants was on the face of the earth. Hello, somebody. Amen. So, 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 the Lord, they come out the angels, this, the angels, that. When Seth called on the name of the Lord, see, Jesus Christ is, was, and always shall be. He ain't just come into existence uh, uh, 2,000 years ago. Hello, somebody. Amen. Uh, he's always been. He is, was, and always shall be. He, I, I'm not, see, see, uh, if you listen to Adam children, you're going to have a Michelangelo. And things change. You have some white man with a beard, long beard down here, long hair. If you turn this way, you ain't gonna know whether it's a woman or not. And if you say, hey, lady, and you turn around with the hair around, they say, who are you talking to? You say, oh, Lord, okay. All right, I don't wanna get into that, mister. So that way, when the marriage will be woman married, I ain't going there. But, but anyway, the God that I serve, is the father of life. Now, in other words, if he said, let there be, and there was light, then he's the father of the light. And if Jesus is the light, then he's the father of Jesus. Huh? See, see, how can Paul, Apostle Paul, Decipher Timothy, and Timothy be his son, but Jesus can't be. So the world don't to tell you, oh, God ain't got no son. He can't have that. I say he can't have that. And who are you? Right. Who you say is? Or at the end of that barrel, you telling me, well, <laughs> oh, good, that's not right now. You know something about it, amen? But I ain't witness you talking to either. Amen? So my Bible said, and you shall know the truth. He said, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them that believe not, the minds of them that's been deceived, the minds of them that don't know no better, the infidel, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine into them. For we preach not ourselves. See, you, you worry about the candle. We're not preaching about ourselves. What you said? 
but Christ Jesus the Lord. See, we lifted up the light. We lifted up the light. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. See, see the light shining in darkness. Amen. Yeah. We be lifting up the sword, the word. Hello, somebody. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. Hello, somebody. Uh -huh. and, and ourselves, your servant, for Jesus' sake. See, we come to be a servant of yours. See, Jesus has lit the candle. We got this thing in earthly vessels, and we come to serve you. See, I'm your candle. If you, if you put me down, then you are the one walking in God. The candle still is lit, no matter where it's at, up and down. But now, if you lift me up, uh, it, you know, some folks, I hire that you're going to talk good about your life, but I got to receive the negative about mine. You're going to put a star over my house, but, but, but sunshine over yours. You're going to put a uh, uh, need more over, your, over my house, and you're going to put the abundance over yours. And I'm going to sit right here and listen to it. I've got to be lost. Uh, or worse than that, which we won't say in church. Tell somebody. Amen. Uh, 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 he said, for we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servant, for Christ's sake, that the, the greater is to serve the lesser. This thing is benefiting you. You the one can either let or not. If you don't eat chicken, that's your business. Don't eat it. If you don't eat eggs, all right, I ain't mad at you. But you ain't gonna eat no fried chicken if you don't eat eggs. Hello, <laughs> somebody, amen. I'm just saying, amen. Well, if anybody tell you the truth, that egg is Well, they give me that. Couple of eggs. Uh, every time to fry those chickens, they be cut these eggs up and put on some bread. And I have all the chicken I want. Just take the feather out of it. How many of you, you know, you ain't even got to clean it? I ain't going to You take the skin out by taking the yolk off. I'm just saying. For God who commanded the light to shine out of dark has shined in our heart to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Hello, somebody. Huh? To give the light of the knowledge. See, see, God, when he said, let there be light, God is a builder. He's a creator. And if you're his child, you should be a builder and a creator. He said, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. You out there trying to get what you get, y'all young folks, y'all all kind of folks, you're getting the heads, you're getting basketball, you're getting football, you're getting all the things, but have you got Jesus? If Jesus is the express image of God, see, if you don't have no light and that light is in you, I'm not talking about Going to going to conferences like we going and buying the books. See, you buying the books because you don't have what it takes to get the, to to have a, 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 the fuel inside of you. See, the same God that told them that would tell you if you get into Him and He get into you. But since you don't have the time to get into Him, you have to pay them to get into Him for you so that you can receive what they give you. And when they, what they give you is water now because why would we give you hell somebody? Amen. Why, why do you think churches said, well, it don't take God long to do nothing? Why do you think churches run short sermons? Amen. Because they know if they give it all to you, you might not be back next week. But they'll give you so much, just enough to, to tease you and to make you hungry enough. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Hello, somebody. Amen. And they ain't never got to give you the fool of bread. They can tease you. One can tease you from there. They can pass sermons from one preacher to another. And they, oh, I preached about this and that, but this is a powerful sermon. If you preach this here, this is going to be, hello, somebody. Amen. And all you got to do is tease them. I got that joke of hook. Hello, somebody. Amen. But that's not getting you. That's not, that's not ministering to the whole man. That's not teaching you to be a disciple. That's not to see Jesus taught 
the minister of Jesus Christ is teaching others to, to seek out and to save others. See, see what we want to shape and mold you, minister to the whole man, beat your flesh, shape your flesh in the, in the where it's supposed to be so that you can go out and shape and mold others. Hey, man, we want to turn you, transform you. We don't want you conformed into the things of this world. We want you transform the renewing of your mind so that instead of getting prayed for, you can be the one praying for. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. Hello, somebody. Amen. See, when people are praying for you, that, that doesn't mean anything, but you need prayer. When you're praying for others, hello, somebody. See, some people have to have hands laid on them. Some people are the ones that's laying hands on them because they connected to the man upstairs and lady. Y'all don't want to talk to me. See, see, in other words, God threw his hat in, amen. And if you receive the hat, you'll receive God. He said, he said, he said, he didn't love me. If he loved me, the, me and the Father would come unto you and make our buy and hello somebody. But since you didn't receive the hat, your father's not coming. Y'all don't want to talk to me. See, if you listen to the turtle instead of listening to the giraffe, if you don't listen to the giraffe instead of listening to the turtle, that by now, the Father would have come to you, and you would come to see you cheated yourself out of ministry. You cheated yourself out of leadership. You cheated yourself out of being somebody. You cheated yourself out of that. You like the ghetto and stuff. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Uh, you cheated yourself. Hey, man, so, so quite naturally, uh, people that are mad and angry and hate you, they hate you because they cheated themselves. They, 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 those in the dog, they, they're bright and grit the teeth. See, the turtle man with a giraffe call, he can't see what the giraffe can see, but the giraffe can look down with his head up and see everything the turtle sees. And, well, all right, well, hello, somebody. See, the giraffe came from where the turtle is, but the turtle can't never go where the giraffe Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. Y'all know somebody. I'm just saying, amen. See, 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 you can be a counter. See, see, you can be a counter, but you can't bring the counter that both in. Hello, somebody. So the world wants you to bring the candle that both in. They want you to teach that hello, somebody. But you need to have light in yourself in order to have light in your home. Hello, somebody. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. See, one thing about it, I'm a, I become a man before I become anything. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and the righteous. God wants you to be all that you can be. God wants to anoint you with the power of the Holy Ghost. God wants you to have leadership ability. God wants to put something in your brother's friend. God want to put something in you. Hello, somebody. And everything's going to be all right. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. I said, y'all don't want to talk to me. I said, everything's going to be all right. Amen. I said, God is not only just a God, he's a healer. I said, God is the one called Lazarus. He lived right from the dead. I said, there are Lazarus that are yet need to be alive, that need to be woke up because the God of this earth has blinded their mind and caused them to be asleep. Amen. And not only was Lazarus asleep, Mary and Martha was children too. You don't know somebody, amen. Because they actually thought that Lazarus was gone and Jesus couldn't do nothing about it and didn't know that he was the resurrection. In order for them not to know, they had to be blinded by religion. Y'all don't want to talk to me. By the Pharisees and Sadducees, instead of having their eyes open, instead of being woke, instead of receiving of God. Hell on somebody. Instead of coming to know the Lord for themselves, I said, somebody in here. I said, somebody in here, God been knocking at the door of your heart, and he's got to be telling you, let it be, and you still got to be keeping a deaf ear, or turning a deaf ear, you don't want to hear God, but you've been hearing something else, and you've been going around, and you got to be going in circles. Hello, somebody, huh? Runaway child, run hello, somebody, amen. You're running wild, hello, somebody, amen. But God is knocking at the door, hello, somebody. He's not going to let the door in your heart because he wants to come in your heart because he wants to make some adjustments in your mind. When the Bible talks about the heart, he's coming into your mind. Hello, somebody. Amen. Because God wants you to love him with your whole heart. And if you love God with your whole heart, I don't care what the devil says. Hello, somebody. Huh? Some of y'all get in love with some of these old cotton men and you can't talk out of it. Huh? Some of y'all get in love with no kind of women you can't talk you out of. Because of your heart. God wants that heart of you. God is knocking at the door of that heart of you. God is saying, I got something better for you. I created you for something better. And I want to spoil you. I want to, hello somebody, I want, to, I want to put you on top and not on the bottom. I want to make you the head and not the tail. I want to make you the loner and not the bottom. 
Hello, somebody. I want, I want to take you somewhere. Hello, somebody. I want, I, I, if you want a home, I want you to have a block. Hello, somebody. You want a car, I'm trying to give you a plane. Hello, somebody, huh? Hello, somebody. You want to write a book, I want to put you in movies. Hello, somebody. I said, y'all don't want to talk to me. I said, you don't have no idea. I said, mind is not able to conceive the good thing that God want to do for you. You just have to let go and let God. You just have to let light come on in. You just have to open your heart. You just say, let that be light. You have to look at God. That God said that there's light in you, and he want to pull that light up to here, and he want to pull that wick so he can light that candle. Hello, somebody. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. God want to light that candle. Hello, somebody. God want to light that candle. See, what happened to God of Eden is the candle was blown out. God want to light that candle, but he want to light it because that's the eternal wick that God has given you because it's the image of Christ, and he want to light that candle. Hello, somebody. And hello, somebody. He will light that candle. That wick inside of that candle is going to light. It's going to burn forevermore. It ain't going to never run out of oil. It will never thirst again. It ain't going to never be hungry. You won't have to worry about burning it from both ends because it's an eternal candle. God wants something greater than you burning inside of you. Hello, somebody. He said, I come that they may have light and that they may have it more abundantly. He said, I come to put a light in you that's impossible to be put out. I come to speak victory in your life. I come to speak glory in your life. I come to speak life inside of you. I come to give you light from a dead. I come, I come to give you the kind of light that you can go in the line and dead and go right on the sea. I come to give you the kind of light that you can get the shut back and me second bit and go to the boy, what y'all been doing now? We've been there having a good time now. Hello, somebody. I, 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 hello, somebody. He said, I come that you may have life. I come that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, thou shalt give me a vision to Harry, the other servant of God. See, God said that tongue that will rise up against you, but he wants you to condemn them. Hello, somebody, because they don't mean that. See, God, when people start hating on you, you get in a shell instead of condemning the tongue. Oh, you don't want to say that. You don't want to walk with it. But God told you to condemn it. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. God told you no weapon formed against you, but you done got scared. Hello, somebody. And ain't nothing going to hurt you. Hello, somebody. Because I am with you. I am that I am by the grace of God, and I sent my brother before you. I sent my brother to lead you. I sent an angel in the midst of your storm. Hello, somebody. I sent the power into your destiny to bring you on forward. Hello, somebody. To pull you up out. The lion came and the lion ain't going to bother you. Because I come in to loose you. My blood, I say, ain't no other way in other than through the door. And I am the door. And I just get it. Hello, my name is Apostle to be like a pastor of Resurrection Temple House of Prayer. I want to break into our service just to give you an opportunity to get your life right with God. The Bible says, if you will confess out of your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I'd like to give you an opportunity right now to join me in prayer. And if you'll pray this prayer from the depths of your heart, sincerely, believe it and trust in the Lord. I know everything will work out for you. Let us pray this prayer. Let us say, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, I confess out of my own mouth, of my own free will, that I'm a sinner. And I ask you, Holy Father, to have mercy upon me. Forgive me a sinner. Father, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that he was crucified, dead and buried for the forgiveness of my sins. I believe that on the third day, God raised him from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sat on the right-hand side of God the Father. And from this, he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart and live. Come into my life and live. Lord, come into my home and live. Lord, I know by praying this prayer, by trusting and believing in you, they don't talk about me. They talked about you. But even so, Lord Jesus, come. In the name of Jesus, let it so be. Amen. Amen. Amen.